Girls. Love her so much. We're transgender in opposite directions. Please help me welcome. You've seen her in HBO Max and Adult Swim. Please help me welcome Max Beasley. Very good. All right. How's it going? Good to see everybody. Sorry I'm going to have this on stage. I'm binging Paw Patrol. <laughs> So one of the cop dogs just died of COVID. It's unvaccinated. Um, speaking of that, uh, I just saw a movie, Doctor Strange. Right? You know about that? I don't know. I was confused. I thought it was about Fauci. You know, uh, inventor of the ouchie. Multiverse of madness. Fauci's America <laughs> kept yelling out in the low spiel is three about it. Got kicked out, now I'm here. Walking over here after my little uh, misstep there, the low spiel is three, uh, saw a sign on a telephone pole that said lost bird. Uh, that bitch is gone. <laughs> All right, you're not gonna find that thing. Went to Kinko's to print that out, Lost Bird. Took the, took the Metro service to the show tonight. You know about that? LA Metro, short for Metropolitan. 60% uh, sure I saw Lenny Kravitz at the metro station today, singer Lenny Kravitz. 100% sure I sucked off some guy wearing leather pants at the Hollywood Western Metro station today. Just kept humming, I want to get away to myself. Speaking of music, we're in a music place right now, I presume. So I invented a new sex move called Billy Joel's The Stranger. That's where your hand goes numb because you're having a heart attack. Ah, 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 ah. Speaking of music, just got one of those weird throat bubbles. You ever get one of those? You know about that? You got a little bubble in your throat? <laughs> Speaking of music, I uh, presume we're in a music place right now. I uh, don't have health insurance. So the only place that would see me uh, was a Red Hot Chili Peppers themed urgent care. It's a true story. Uh, the guy there said that my blood sugar was low. But he also said that my sex magic was off the charts. Uh, he was a flea MT. <laughs> Not my first choice of medical care. Speaking of music, uh, I presume we're in sort of a music type place right now. So uh, you guys know about this guy, R. Kelly, right? Uh, he's in a lot of trouble, this R. <laughs> Kelly character. Before he uh, had all this legal business to take care of, uh, R. Kelly was actually going to start a new band. I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, R. Kelly was going to start a new band. They are called the Black Guy Peas. <laughs> <laughs> This one's not about music. <laughs> Apologies to the records. Uh, this one's about Woody Allen. You know about Woody Allen, right? Bag in a lot of trouble, too. Like R. Kelly, that guy. Uh, I think if I uh, had nothing to lose, I'd go to Manhattan and I'd beat Woody Allen's ass. <laughs> soon he, soon he gonna be dead, bitch. You're beating your ass with a friggin' clarinet. <laughs> S 
speaking of uh, sex perverts, <laughs> my uh, uncle molested me when I was a kid. Turned out fine, but uh, no, he did. I, I didn't think at the time how perfect it would have been for me to yell uncle during it. I mean, stop, right? Y'all uncle. So back to music. Music, music place, right? You guys know what an EGOT is? EGOT, uh, that's where you win an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony, right? And uh, you know, believe it or not, I'm almost an EGOT. I, uh, I fucked people named Emmy, Oscar, and Tony. <laughs> I just have Grammy left. <laughs> Might be a little difficult. Because she's dead. As, uh, as Sammy mentioned earlier, uh, speaking of EGOT, I'm a fa EGOT. <laughs> no, I am. I'm trans. Trans woman. Uh, you know, it's it's weird. Tonight, I didn't really want to do funny comedy. I kind of just wanted to do brave comedy. Uh, didn't really set out to be funny, just kind of brave. Didn't really want laughs. Was kind of hoping more for, like, polite bows. Uh, and little claps. Uh, you know, I'm early in my transition. I kind of still just look like Man Leibowitz. <laughs> Or uh, Jane Lynch with top surgery. <laughs> Speaking of top surgery, um, give me those tops, okay? <laughs> Want your top? I don't care what color it is. Right? <laughs> Size, bigger, better. But you know, put it in a Ziploc bag. I don't care. I'll take it. <laughs> don't have to start my third GoFundMe. <laughs> We're in the trans chunk now. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, getting my dick chopped off should be free. <laughs> right? Pretty easy to do. Kind of a community service. <laughs> I think we'd all be happier that way. Why, why I gotta pay like I'm paying for a dang Kia Forte <laughs> out of the box to get my friggin' dick lopped off. Seems like I could do that right now. <laughs> By myself. <laughs> it is weird, it is weird going from being a six foot two somewhat attractive guy to being a six foot two ugly dyke <laughs> overnight. Bit of an adjustment. Bit of a hit to the old self-esteem there. Now I <laughs> compare myself to beautiful women all the time and I look not like that, right? Sort of a hard thing. I didn't always know I was trans. At, at first, when I was a kid, I. I wanted to be Air Bud. <laughs> but with like a fat dumper. <laughs> like a pog dog. <laughs> and then, you know, later on I, I said I was gender fluid. But I uh, told a relative that, and uh, they were like, gender fluid? Back in my day, gender fluid was just called cum. <laughs> And uh, so I thought that might have been too confusing for people. But uh, it is weird now. Uh, all my parents' kids are gay, which is weird, right? But that's on them. They, they shouldn't have fucked us up so bad. <laughs> now they get to watch all of us turn into each other. 
That's their punishment. They get to watch all of their kids turn into each other. My dad always wanted a daughter, you know. And he was like, when my brother came out as uh, being a trans man, my dad was like, oh, but I always loved having a daughter. Wish I had a daughter. I bet you got one. <laughs> Maybe not what you wished for, but I am here and I am queer. <laughs> I'm about to be full of beer. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> From the thing? <laughs> well, I should probably leave. I guess uh, tonight I really just wanted to prove once and for all uh, that women aren't funny. <laughs> I hope I've accomplished that for you all. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Somebody else to try to prove that women are.